my dear brothers and sisters i would like to reflect with you about prophetic intercession what it helps us to be i would convincingly say that jericho prophetic intercession training course helps us to become lovers you may be wondering what this bishop is saying it teaches you to be a lover prophetic intercession training course anyone wants to learn to how to love join prophetic training intercession course it will really make you an ardent lover it will really make you a tremendous lover because jesus is an intercessor at this moment seated at the right hand of the father he is interceding why because he is a tremendous lover what makes jesus a intercessor he loves god his father with the fullness of love and then he loves us with the same love as the father loves me i love you so he loves us with the same love and so he turns to the father and intercedes for us if he does not have love for me he would not be able to uh, turn to the father and intercede for me so an intercessor has to be a tremendous lover like jesus that's why i took this topic an intercessor is a lover a real lover a genuine lover a tremendous lover and that is what as jesus a lover the one and only command that jesus gave us is love one another as i have loved you that's the only command we have to fulfill the purpose of our life on this earth is to bring make this command the one and only command jesus has given a reality in my life so when i think of being a prophetic intercessor that means i need to become first a lover a tremendous lover 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 of god and lover of human kind then only i can be an intercessor so intercession is not possible without love it's not possible without love just let let us look at our blessed mother mary mary she is an intercessor now most powerful intercessor interceding for all of us and so even at this moment mary is interceding for us why because she loves us is she loves us at the annunciation mary receives the word of god at the annunciation mary has a god experience at the annunciation mary comes to know the love of god at the annunciation mary loves god realizing god's love for her she loves god how does she love surrenders herself to god gives herself totally to god her lover she realizes god is loving and giving him to her and so now she realizing god and gives herself to god and in turn what happens god receiving her her love sends her as a lover in the mission that's why immediately after the annunciation mary rushes to her kinswoman elizabeth to love her to serve her to help her to enable her to come to experience god that's it so the mary now after having experienced god after having Uh, completely surrender herself to god now she goes to love her kinswoman elizabeth intercedes for her to god and that's what the life of mary is mary stands at the foot of the cross again because she loves her son she loves us her children at the cross she becomes our mother again it is that tremendous love that she has for each one of us it at cana it is mary the lover of people she realizes the need of that family 
So Mary becomes sensitive, other oriented, because she is a lover, and she is able to intercede for the people at Cana that they have no wine because she loves them, and that love prompts her to become an intercessor. And then she comes to Jesus and says, "They have no wine, and do something." And then that love again makes her to trust in Jesus. See, this is something tremendous. The power of prophetic intercession is it makes us to love God and love others, and it also makes us to be sensitive, to be other oriented, to know the needs of others, and carry those needs with trust, with full faith into God, into God, and that's how it makes us to be. So that's why I find when I was reflecting about prophetic intercession, it makes us to be tremendous lovers. and that's what mary in the life of mary we see so jesus having been a powerful intercessor for mankind to god and he asks us and he gives us that one long holy command love one another as i have loved you the beautiful example again is the uh, high priestly prayer of jesus chapter 17 of st john where jesus loves his the loves mankind loves his disciples and he loves god her fa- his father and so he turns to the father and prays for his beloved he says i am not praying for the world but i am praying for these so there is beautiful relationship of love his relationship of love with his father and his relationship of love with each one of us for whom he uh, gives his life that is the tremendous the prophetic intercession is one such and so the prophetic intercession helps me to become a tremendous lover another thing this love transforms as a prophetic intercessor when i love god and love others it transforms me it changes my attitude it changes my perspectives for example uh, when i love god and when i love others as an intercessor interceding for mankind interceding for the world interceding for the church my perspective towards the world my attitude towards the world towards the church towards the society towards mankind towards my neighbors everything changes i become docile I become a person of understanding. Unless I understand, I cannot be an intercessor. So I understand the people. I understand their situation. I don't become judgmental. I don't be prejudiced. A prejudiced person cannot love, cannot intercede. A prejudiced person cannot uh, really become an intercessor. And that's why our our attitude changes. Now, for example, a prophetic intercessor, a person of intercession, it's a lifestyle. Every moment he has to be interceding. You get into the bus, you start praying for all those who are in the bus, the driver, the conductor, and all the fellow passengers. You get into the train, you get into the flight, you do the same. You walk on the street, all those who come across on the road, on the street, you lift them in prayer. That's what a prophet intercessor is. So in other words what i mean to say is an intercessor becomes an universal lover he loves everyone he understands everyone he has an educated heart to understand not misunderstand he understand even if there is something wrong something evil something not up to the mark he will understand and he will able to accept that that's what the prophetic intercessor otherwise without this he cannot be an intercessor so when i get into i don't look at people oh he is a rich man and so i am pleased to that person or he is well dressed he is good looking no you go beyond all that as a prophetic intercessor as a universal lover you go beyond all these human limitations and then you be a tremendous lover and that love urges you to turn to god and intercede for these people saint paul you beautiful what why does he say the love of christ urges me caritas christi urgeth me what does it mean here is love for god 
urges him to turn to the people to be uh, docile to the people to be understanding to the people to uh, listen to the people to instruct the people to bring the people together that's an expression of his love for the people expression of his love for god which is being translated into his love for the people it is one and the same without my love for god i cannot love the others without loving my brothers and sisters i can't have a genuine true love for god these both are one and the same that's why a prophetic intercessor has to be a lover of god and lover of people with this only he can be a prophetic intercessor without having a genuine that tremendous love for god and a genuine love for uh, our brothers and sisters you cannot be a prophetic intercessor and that's what we find that's why our whole perspective will change as a prophetic intercessor the love takes over you become a lover and then you look at every aspect every person every incident in with the light of love the love of christ urges me that should be so that's why i i find the ministry of prophetic intercession helps us to be lovers the one and only command that god gives us love one another as i have loved you and without this we can never be prophetic intercessors so be grateful to god that you are called to be a prophetic intercessor which makes you to fulfill the one and only command of god love one another as i have loved you and that makes you a tremendous lover so prophetic intercession makes us to be tremendous lovers like jesus thank you god bless you